What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So I'm in the process of fixing to try to pull this hood off of this uh, the new Revolve over here that I have and I've never took the hood off of one of these before but uh, I went ahead and pulled the grill out because it's only just some screws to unscrew that and uh, I thought that I could lay on the ground. I thought this unbolted in the flat position but it doesn't look like it does because whenever I started taking these bolts loose laying on the ground uh, this rod is spring loaded and so it started tilting up uh, so, I, so it looks like I'm better off just going ahead and raising the hood up like this now uh, I've got I see another wire well that's just the I think that may be just a temperature sensor there I've got wires disconnected over here on this side already and I think they just all run loose and stay in the hood here but uh, it'll be a whole lot easier because you see how this mount is broke off uh, and pushed up inside the hood here if I get this whole hood out to where I can work on it I did the last one on my other truck with it still on there and I supported the hood uh, with a come along or chain hoist in the ceiling right up there and held this hood up and, and worked on it right here but uh, I've got a tractor now to be able to pick this thing up so I didn't have one then I think it'll be a lot easier if I can go ahead and get this thing off of here I'm not sure how I'm going to hold it up yet how I'm going to support it uh, it's just a rope holding holding this right here but I think I'm going to put the pallet forks on and come around here to the front and see if I can get up under it a little bit and uh, I think this hood will tilt over just a little bit further forward without uh, damaging the uh, bumper too much which I'm not really worried about it a whole lot because it's not the best of shape anyways but uh, looking at this side that's not messed up on the hood looks like it'll come forward just a touch more Maybe I can hold it with the pallet forks and then uh, finish unbolting it and then figure out what to do from there. Uh, so this is kind of one of those learn as you go deals. I've got to get the bucket off the tractor here, hook the pallet forks up, and then I will get around there in front of it and we'll see what we got happening. got it off of there and I scuffed it just a little bit right there but I'm probably going to repaint the whole thing anyway uh, so that's not a huge issue uh, probably going to take these mirrors off patch these holes up and do something a little different there as well as obviously we fixing that down there and patching that here's the uh, the actual hood mount right here and the piece of broke out fiberglass that we have here you can see how that uh, metal there was just glued onto inside of here and then uh, whatever they did they broke the whole bottom of this out so uh, I'll have to figure out what uh what I want to do here how I'm gonna fix this but in the meantime I'll get this hood over there somewhere and uh, get it set down I gotta clean out a spot over here I suppose I don't really know. I guess I'll set it over here by the welding machine. Uh, by this fan. It'll probably work. I gotta find something to set it on. Alright, so I've been over here for the last 30 minutes trying to clean off this table that uh, I had set up the temporary table I had from the Duramax project last year uh, that was over in this corner collecting everything. And uh, so I got everything cleaned off. I put the piece of glass that I had on top of my sawhorses over there in the corner. I've got the sawhorses moved right here. And so I think I want to set this thing up on the sawhorses so I can work on it. The problem with that is it's, uh, it's setting backwards from 
kind of the way it needs to go. It needs to lay on the top of the hood upside down. This right here is why I do not like these forks right here. And I want to get a set that's got the carriage where the forks stay. I want to tilt these forks over to match the profile of this hood right here and strap the hood to it so that I can rack the hood up and set it back down and set the hood upside down on here. But uh, if I do that with them forks like that, I'm going to destroy this hood, I do believe. So i got to figure out, I don't know if, if the angle I got it, if I can ease it over, put something on the edge of these forks to keep it from digging into the hood and ease it over like this with the way it sits and uh, strap it to it some way. Uh, I think that's my best option at this point. Let me uh, set you guys down. I'm going to grab some cardboard or something over here and put on these forks to keep from uh, tearing this hood up any worse than it is. I'm going to try to lean this thing over. All right, I put some cardboard on the uh, end of the forks here. I'm going to try to lean this thing over. See, I keep from scratching it. I think it's going to get a little bit right here. That's what I needed to do. And then I need to tilt it over, dry forward, and let it back down. Uh, let me get me a couple more pieces of cardboard here, put right there, and uh, see what I can do with it. I got it off of there, got it upside down, and uh, 
Got it up about the right height that I can work on it here. You can see what's got to be done here. We've got to cut this out a little bit, grind this out so we can overlay and uh, get it back correct and then uh, figure out what to do about this mount here. And I've got to get some panel bonded adhesive to be able to glue this back right here. You can see how this is coming up away from the headlight. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the headlight assemblies out and uh, get some glue up in here, clamp this, let that glue dry, and then uh, figure out what to do about the rest of this here. You can buy the, uh, the inner structure of these hoods. You see where it's made here, it's glued together. It's the inner structure and the outer structure and all this stuff's put together with glue. But uh, this is in better shape than the last hood that I fixed on my other truck. So I think I'm just going to try to fix what's here. And uh, I'm not real worried about the, uh, the structures being independent of one another. If I have to bond, you know, all this together or whatever I've got to do to get this mount to work, that's what I'll do. Um, a hood for this thing is the guy that I bought this truck from priced the hood and he said 2500 bucks is what he found for a used one plus it had to be painted and all that but uh, I think you can buy a new aftermarket hood for somewhere around that price possibly even a little cheaper uh, two grand 2400 2500 I'm not real sure but uh, I, I hate to spend that money when I know that I should be able to fix this because I fixed one before and uh, so that's what we're going to try to do. Uh, if I can fix this in a couple days, save 2500 bucks. Uh, well, it'll cost me a few hundred to fix this probably. Uh, not counting my time, obviously. So uh, we're going to give it a shot, see what happens. All right, so I finally got some of the stuff in I need to fix the hood. The way this hood is glued together from the factory, they use a fiberglass adhesive is what it's called. Uh, it is green and I don't know that that's the best stuff to use because as you can see it's not holding up very well and most of these hoods that I see whether it be Volvo, Freightliner, whatever they all use this green stuff it's a fiberglass adhesive as I say and it comes apart and the hoods come apart the front comes off of them and the Freightliners and it just does not seem to hold up that well so I decided on the last hood I did I used a panel bonding adhesive uh, made by the same company, 3M. It worked fine, but I was reading that there's a structural panel bonding adhesive, which is what I decided to go with this time. And uh, this is an impact resistant structural rated adhesive that is for uh, like, I guess, gluing roofs on cars and stuff. And uh, whatever quarter panels and all that sort of stuff. And I've not seen any quarter panels and roofs falling off cars, so I think this may be a better adhesive. This stuff is pretty expensive. This is like 60 bucks for this little tube right here. But anyway, that's what I'm going with. You have to have this gun. This is a gun I bought last time. I don't remember what this gun cost. I'll show you the part numbers here. You can look it up, 08571 and 07333 on this. But this is over $100 for this little setup right here. I'm sure, I remember this gun being pretty expensive. But it slides in like this, this is the epoxy of adhesive. You've got two plungers. It pushes this an equal amount. And you have a mixing tube. It comes with two mixing tubes. I've got a couple more over there. Uh, that is, I threw this little cap down that I need. It has a couple more mixing tubes that I have over there from the last time they had left over. But you're supposed to be able to, I don't remember what the shelf life is on this, but you're supposed to be able to use it more than once because of the way the mixing tubes are. So anyway, it goes in here and mixes all together. This is adhesive we're using. And on this mount here, where this mount is completely broken out, I've cleaned everything up with brake clean. I've drilled two holes right here because from the factory, you see where this corrosion is at? There was just a little bit of glue right here that's glued this in, and then the rest of it's fiberglassed in here. I guess this is this mount's glued on the back of this fiberglass and whatnot. That's how it is from the factory. So this all broke out of the hood, obviously. It goes down in here like so, and it's caused this all to get tore up. If it would have been fixed beforehand, this would not need to be repaired here. But uh, it's broken loose from the headlight bucket right here as well. 
and this piece right here. So what I did was I put two nuts on the back of here, drilled two holes, put two nuts here, tack welded them just to tack. I need to get me a TIG welder or something for that or a 110 volt wire welder. This big setup I got, you gotta crank up this diesel welding machine. It's just for doing something like that, it's kind of ridiculous. But anyway, uh, just hit it with a little tack weld. So what I'm gonna do is put uh, some of this adhesive on here, put this in here, put the bolts in there, tighten it up, and that will secure this back in. And uh, we're gonna put plenty of adhesive here, as well as where the headlight bucket is, and clamp all this together and uh, let it dry overnight and then uh, we can go back and do the fiberglass work and stuff at a later date a few days when I get some more time or whatnot so that's what we're about to start doing here I want to get this adhesive flowing out and uh, put some bolts in here Hopefully you guys will be able to see. I don't know, got that light in the background over there and it's kind of messing things up a little bit. But anyways, I think it'll be okay. They just had a little daub of this stuff on here to start with, and we're gonna put more. It makes a mess when these hoods come apart. And they're very expensive to fix, so. for me to get down in here probably so before I try to put that mount in there squeeze down in here try to squeeze some in some of these other places that you can't really get to that well release the pressure off of that stop squeezing out <clears throat> And let's see if we can get this down in here. Like this. Get some bolts started in it. All right, I've got the screws tight or bolts tightened up there. Now what I'm gonna do is put some right across this front right here. Let it squeeze down in there like that. Then, figure out how to clamp this in place. Got this big clamp here I can put across the front, like this, to squeeze this, I think.
trying to bow right here. Just trying to push it down on it. It needs to be pushing the other direction like that. All right, I've got this up here and got the glue on it, got a bunch of clamps on it, sitting here holding it. Uh, my holes are off a little bit right here. This mount is supposed to be up higher. It's not gonna matter that much because I'm gonna fiberglass over this and I can put enough fiberglass on this to bring this out flush. So this will be up under the, uh, the fiberglass right here. So it's not gonna matter. I may have to get a longer bolt or something like that, but then again, I may not because the bolts are there pretty long. So I'm not that worried about it. I've got it. Uh, these two bolts here tightened up. Everything looks good other than, like I say, it's too low. I don't want to loosen this back up and try to redrill the holes. All I'm going to do is wallow them out. I'm going to leave it be and then let this dry and then fiberglass back over the top of it. And then I'll be able to sand this all flat and everything will be lovely after I get it all fixed up. You'll never know. The studs right here are ripped out of the hood and uh, there's not a whole lot of good way to fix that other than I found this piece of flat bar over there and these studs do not come with nuts when you buy the studs it's a metric thread I don't have any and there's nobody open because it's nighttime so I just went ahead and welded that on there and I'm going to glue these right there and clamp them and let the uh, glue dry and then I'm going to come back over the top of this and fiberglass this metal plate into the uh, hood structure here otherwise you got to take this whole hood structure apart uh, which is the way a body shot would probably fix this is they would pull this whole hood structure apart right here to replace this whole uh, front piece right here that the mounts go in and everything but I don't see any reason to do that if I can fix it doing it the way that I am so let me get some glue put on here and we'll get these up here and let that glue be drying. And then when I get time, I'll fire blast them in along with this other part. All right, so I've got this stuck up here. As you see, got it glued on. Just gonna wait on it to dry. And I've got the other side over here as well. I've got a paint roller handle, telescopic paint roller handle is what this is. I got stretched across here in between the two just holding pressure up against the sides so they will stay there and then uh, the stud the threads on the stud sticking through the original hole on the back side that's kind of keeping them lined up position but I believe that once this dries that I can come in here and fiberglass over the top of this and fiberglass this into the uh, original hood structure here and it should be as good as new because this will obviously be bonded to this and it'll have fiberglass going over the top back to the original structure. So just got to let it dry and then we'll uh, start on the fiberglass part. All right guys, it is the next day or afternoon about, I don't know, 18 or 20 hours later. And I've removed the clamps, it's all glued in place. I really hate that uh, I could not get this back you know where it should have been it should be up a little bit higher uh, it's down about a quarter of an inch or maybe a little bit more in this corner here 
maybe three eighths from where it should be. Uh, when I drill my holes through here, we just got off, but it's not going to matter whenever I get it uh, finished because I'm going to bring this, build this back up with fiberglass and bond this back in, and it'll all be flush as the way it was, and it'll still work. But anyway, it's just going to take a little more time, a little more fiberglass to do so. So what I'm about to do is rough this up with a uh, grinding disc. Just got an old grinding disc, and uh, I'm going to clean this up and start fiberglassing this back in. My insides in here where I bonded these. Uh, that's looking pretty good there right now. Seems to be stuck pretty well. I'll probably rough this up a little bit too with my grinder. And uh, then bond over this with fiberglass just because this may actually be strong enough to hold it fine. I don't really know. But uh, since I got the hood off and upside down, now's a good time to uh, fix it. And so I'm gonna go ahead and bond over this with a fiberglass as well while I'm doing this up here. So let me get my grinder over here. I've got it already set up and we'll start grinding away some of this. Safety glasses over there, also. Awesome. Let's see here. I'm gonna just glue up a little bit so we can pull this off without messing it up anymore, hopefully. I'm gonna have to clean that off in order to get to a surface to where the uh, fiberglass will fit. Thank you. 
I've got this all cleaned up with the uh, grinder there and I'm done grinding on it. I've got a big piece of fiberglass matte roll here and I had this already from the last hood that I repaired on my other truck. Uh, you guys that have not seen my previous videos, new subscribers, you can go check that out if you want to know how to fix a really badly damaged hood because this here is really minor compared to the other one. The other one was just completely broke out of pieces on the same side. Uh, this whole bar here was broke out, had to rebuild all of this. Uh, so this should not be that bad. But anyway, I got that and I've got some scissors and stuff over here on the welder and I'm going to cut me out some of this mat and some shapes. I put the original bolts back down here, put a little bit of oil on them to keep the fiberglass from sticking to it and uh, sprayed everything down with with uh, brake clean and so I'm going to start fiberglassing this back together. I've got me some resin mixed up here, I've got my paintbrush and I'm fixing to start putting it on here. I don't know what the best way to go about this is, I don't really have stuff here set in a really good spot. We're going to see how this works. You only have about 10 minutes working time with this stuff, so it's not very long at all. So I'll try to put this on here and get a good bond to the mount there. Put some right here as well because I have this piece here cut too. It's easy to run out of time when you're messing with this stuff here. Don't have a lot of working time. Put this piece up here. And I've tried to cut out around these bolt holes here. Or I tried to figure out how I had it laid up here. This chair, I believe. Maybe not. Right here. Spilling it all over myself over here.
this up here so that it'll stiffen up there. All right, I've given this time to dry. I wound up going uptown to uh, Walmart because it's 10 o'clock at night. It's the only place open. I really hate shopping there. And uh, I've already got my groceries and everything, but I wanted to get some more fiberglass resin because I'm about out. And I uh, had some uh, fiberglass resin and a gallon of lacquer thinner and everything, along with some spray paint to paint the frame. I picked up a few cans of that and uh go up there and check out they got no registers open other than the self-checkout which you can't take any of that stuff through uh so anyway enough about that i've got the sander hooked back up 
and everything. I'm gonna sand this down, clean it up, and uh, probably lay one more coating over this right here, thicken this up on this edge right here, and then I've got to put a little bit more right here, and I think that will about do this down here. So uh, let's get to sanding. sand it down here just roughly um, put another layer right here right across this edge to reinforce this edge right here where it's all broke out and then I uh, got to put some more in here to build this up a little bit piece of fiberglass here I've already soaked in some resin over there I get it up here like so <clears throat> get the stick on there So this is the next time I've done this and I'm waiting on everything to dry so I can sand it off and get it ready again. I think it'll be good enough. You can see how I got it built up there. So in the meantime, I've removed the mirrors here. Uh, this hole is not bad, but the ones up here, I mean, them things are just, it's tore the hood all to pieces having those mirrors on there like that. And uh, so I am going to patch that up as well. Sand this off, I'm going to start patching from the inside and I'll take the grinder on the outside, grind out just a little bit uh, and start laying it up like I did the other. Sand it back smooth. You can see this side the way it's done and where they had the uh, the latches on here like for a Peterbilt it's broke all this out so I'm going to have to uh, fix this too. And as well as it's coming apart right here. Where it was bonded at i'll have to put a little bit of panel bonded adhesives in there and clamp that and look over everything else on it and see if i see anything else while i'm working on it but uh 
that's what I'm doing. I'm going to start on that now. I'm working on getting these holes all patched up. I've got this here patched up. Just waiting on it to dry. Patch these big holes from the inside. And I'm going to have to turn the hood upside down in order to uh, do this right here. Or, well, I don't have to, I guess. But it'd be easier to do it that way. The little hole that was here. You can see inside of here the way I patched that. And this here, this big glob of mess here, where this corner is all broke out. Gotta let this dry, then I'll have to cut this off with a uh, cut off wheel on a grinder and then sand all this down. These here, it's actually started breaking the hood out right here. You can see this is, it's not flat, it's concave right here. So I had to build up on the inside of the hood here. Down in there, as you see, I built it up a couple layers there. And so I'm waiting on that to dry. And in the meantime, I am uh, working on the other side over here that is dry enough i believe that i've cut this here off I sanded this down with 80 grit and it's uh getting pretty close to where it needs to be got to finish some sanding on it and uh fill the pinholes in with body filler or whatever but uh, i'm gonna pull these bolts out right here sand this mount flat is what i'm about to do now these should just come right out because I put some oil on them. Anyway, I pull them out and I'm going to that flat and then that mount will be ready. All right, I've got it sanded flat there, as flat as it needs to be, it's going to get. Uh, it's pretty well level right there. You see I got a few dimples in it. I could sand it on down and and uh, put a little more, get it, but it don't have to be all that. It's got a flat mounting surface where the holes are at. It's uh, reinforced. It's as strong or stronger than it was, probably stronger than it was to start with because it's a lot thicker there now. And uh, this here is pretty thick too. And uh, so anyway, all I got to do now is I'll come back tomorrow whenever this other gets through drying over here on these holes basically do the same thing with it and uh i'll probably flip the hood over and get this sanded the other direction or, or fiberglass the other direction and sand it off and then we'll sand this down get it smooth and fill in the uh the little pin holes we got with some bondo and whatnot and get it all slicked out that's just sanded with 80 grit right now so that's a rough finish we'll sand it on down to like a, a 320 or something probably and uh go at it from there but for time being i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up and uh i'll put the other stuff in the the second video i guess or the next video however it works out this video is getting kind of long you see the gist of it uh the holes will be done the exact same way that this was basically just you start kind of in a with a smaller patch in the center and you work your way out and uh to a bigger area sand it down get it flat all that good stuff and we'll get it sanded down, get ready to prime it, and uh, put some paint on it. So anyway, I'm going to wrap this up. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.